um, had a delivery in the mail today. Um, so a little while ago on Amazon, I ordered uh, a temperature sensor. So the idea is to to because um, my fridge, I'd like to have something on my uh, on my phone, like a, an app. So the idea was to be able to monitor the fridge, um, the temperature, and also have an alarm set up if it goes below or above a certain temperature. So I did a bit of searching around the internet. I uh, come across this one on Amazon. It was $25, so uh, I thought I'll grab it. It's fairly cheap, um, um, and I'll put it through its paces, see how it goes, and check the accuracy, things like that. Uh, it does take uh, two uh, AA batteries, um, you know, and uh, by all accounts, um, uh, they're supposed to last uh, from three to six months. Um, so, out of the box, uh, we have some instructions uh, by looks of it. Um, so, it's the Inkbird Smart Temperature Sender IBS uh, hyphen TH2. Um, the instructions just have some technical specifications um, looks like it's got the uh, QR codes to download the the app um, and then it's got um, what looks to be just some instructions on how to en engage the app and so forth uh, when you get it all um, installed on your phone that's the technical specification so it's Bluetooth connection range is 30 meters 98 feet its temperature measurement range is uh, negative 40 degrees Celsius to 60 degrees Celsius. Um, its temperature accuracy is uh, is plus or minus 0.5 degrees Celsius. Um, as I said, it takes two actually two AAA batteries, not two AA. Sorry. Um, it has a mag magnetic back. Um, its waterproof level is IPX4. But anyway, so what I'll do is I'll pull it out of the box and give you a quick look. Um, oh, it comes with its own little screwdriver. I'm, I'm sure that the, that's the ink bird, that's it there. Um, yeah, so the screwdriver is obviously for the batteries in the back there. So I'll unscrew that and I'll put some batteries in it and, uh, and we'll give it a whirl. So it's quite compact. It's probably, uh, I reckon, you know, uh, I don't know, 75 to 80 mil square and it's about an inch thick. So what are we looking at? One, two, maybe three by three inches by three inches by an inch. Something like that, close to it anyway. You know, it's uh, a hard plastic and, uh, you know, it seems pretty, pretty rigid, pretty strong, you know, so it's, um, you know, it's not flimsy at all. So, um, but uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll get the screwdriver and uh, that there and I'll unscrew it and I'll put some AAA batteries in and, uh, We'll chuck it in the fridge and uh, do some comparisons and see how we go. So I'm going to do a comparison probably over a, a week, um, you know, just to see. Um, um, I have downloaded the app already and, and, and obviously I've opened it. I've downloaded the app already and had just had a bit of a look at it. Um, I'll run through some features on the app. There's not a great deal, um, you know, and there's, in the, there's not a lot of information about some of the features in the app either. It's pretty much sort of work it out for yourself. But... Um, some of them are self-explanatory, others are a little bit, um, you know, ambiguous and sort of, I don't quite understand what they do, um, or if you even would you ever use them, but anyway. So I'll put some batteries in it and, uh, we'll do some, uh, we'll do some testing on the accuracy of the temperature. So I'll put the sensor into the fridge, guys, and, uh, so it's currently, that would have been room temperature, so I'd expect to start to see that to, to, to lower, um, soon. Um, so I'm going to give that... Um, a little bit and then I'll come back to the temperature and uh, see how and I'll, and I'll see how long it takes for it to come down to say the temperature that the uh, that the fridge um, is suggesting it's at um, and then we'll we'll take it from there I think so it's been about uh, seven to ten minutes I think and as you can see it's dropped down to 9.4 degrees I think it was up at around 21 22 when I first put it in um, the, um, the display on the fridge is saying eight, um, which is around about where I keep it. Um, and the meat thermometer uh, is also saying around about eight as well. So it's obviously still coming down. So I'll give it another um, 10 minutes or so and we'll see where we're at. Okay guys, so it's been about um, another 10 minutes. So, uh, you know, roughly 20 minutes all up. So between 15 and 20 minutes. And as you can see now, we're down to, to eight degrees. Um, which is uh, pretty much what I have the fridge set to. 
uh, although the the uh, display on the fridge is saying slightly higher at around about uh, about uh, nine degrees so um, but the meat thermometer also says eight degrees as well so um, you know I think that uh, we have we have a fairly accurate sort of indication um, given it's that the uh, meat thermometer and this is saying eight that maybe um, and maybe that the display on the fridge is a little bit inaccurate but uh, look I'm going to give it uh, you know a few days of uh, of just checking and uh, see where we go and see where we end up uh, at the end of that time frame as to you know how accurate it, it is. The uh, I put the um, the sensor in the fridge and I've also got a another temperature gauge in there as well the, on the front of the fridge. It's reading seven. Probably just building back up the temperature again. I might check to see what's on on the inside. So I'll lift that back up and we can see the gauge. Yeah, I think that's on about it's on about six or seven. So it's about seven degrees in there. I'm... All right, guys. So I've had it in since uh, since Saturday. It's, it's now Thursday, um, and I've got the the graph here showing that there's um, you know some slight variations. I just flick that across if I can. You can see that there. So it goes up and down. So obviously during the day it gets warmer, then the fridge cuts in and. And uh, you know, so I think it's in that range of where it's it's okay. You've got one uh, big dip there. Um, I did play around with the settings on the fridge a little bit just to see, because I think the um, the display on the fridge is is not accurate. So I was just playing around with that a little bit. But uh, all in all, uh, and it, it seemed to always match up with the meat thermometer as well. It was pretty close. So um, I think. Um, all in all, I think that it's uh, it's the temperature that it's reading is, is fairly accurate. Um, you know, so uh, uh, the only other thing was that um, that uh, I found the the thirty meters Bluetooth um, coverage not quite as good as what it, it states it is. Um, you know, so I think you know probably maybe 20 would be max um you know depending on i'm not sure how bluetooth works but depending on what sort of structure you've got between yourself and and the sensor so uh like uh, it's sitting in a fridge uh, in a car with the shed door down and i'm in the kitchen which is about well, i would hazard to guess it about 20 to 20 meters away uh, and, it, and it won't connect so um you know i've actually got to walk out into the shed um still having the door down and inside the fridge inside the car then it will connect it but I, I've, I reckon I've got to come closer it's like 15 meters between 15 and 17 meters so the whole idea of this um, you know was to um, have it in the front in the phone holder um, you know so uh, um, I'm not going to be too far away from the fridge to be honest so or sitting around a campfire or something with the cars you know there's not much structure in the way so I mean, I'll, I'll keep monitoring that, but but all in all, look, I think that um, you know, it's uh, it's it's doing a good job. Um, you know, the uh, I've tested the alarm; the alarm works well. Um, so um, you know, and, and and it's it's fairly audible, so it's and noticeable. Um, and um, so for twenty five bucks, I mean, all in all, I think yeah, pretty good buy. If it's if it's something that you think that you know that you could probably use, then I'd I'd recommend it. Um, you know, it doesn't break the bank, so um, you know, um, it's probably just going to be see how long the batteries last. I go, uh, I guess, to see it, but uh, so far, so good. It's been a week and it's still at 100%, um, or nearly a week anyway. So, but uh, so it's a big tick, um, from us here. So, uh, if you like the video, um, please like and subscribe, leave a message, comments, um, you know, uh, thanks uh, for all the support I get. Um, this week was a big week. Um, we achieved uh, 100 subscribers, which uh, to a lot of people probably isn't a lot. I know that there's, there's there's YouTubers out there with thousands and thousands, but for me it's a big deal because um, you know it just goes to show that people appreciate what I'm doing. So so thanks very much, um, and uh, we'll catch you uh, in the next video. Cheers, guys.